I received this Bluetooth OBD2 scanner from Garage Pro, so thanks for sponsoring this video and I will show you what you can do with it. Came in this nice case, but it is just a Bluetooth adapter, extension cable and then your activation code. This is the app, Garage Pro Car OBD2 scanner. I will go ahead and update mine, then go to menu activation code and then input your email and code from this car to activate all the features. Okay, let's go ahead and plug in our adapter. Don't forget to turn on ignition so scanner can communicate with car. So this is how the app look inside. We have basic OBD functions, you can read fault codes. Now it will connect automatically when I ask scanner to do something and it is also asking me for vehicle brand. So let's put Fiat. These are the modules we can try scanning, doesn't mean the car will have all of them. But for this car model, this Garage Pro scanner should be able to scan these control modules. Okay, so scan is completed, now we can see fault codes it has. Go to this show details and now I can see all found fault codes. Now I really like how this Garage Pro scanner displays these codes. Here you can see if the code is current or confirmed or pending so you know which type of code are you dealing with. And it will also tell you if this code is responsible for your check engine light. So if you have multiple codes you can see which one is serious and it is triggering check engine. And then to know more about the code simply press this button and I also can see what might be causing this problem, what are symptoms and possible solutions for this fault code. And then this report will save automatically which you can then download to your phone as PDF or even print it out to get full diagnostic report. Now you might think that this is a good way to make money, make inspections for customers and check their vehicles and giving them diagnostic reports and if you want to know exactly how to do that I got free PDF that will teach you how to create this professional looking diagnostic reports you can download it in description. Now checking the engine life data is also very good with the scanner. First it will ask me for vehicle make so input Fiat scan selected vehicle Ok, I didn't have internet connection on, so don't forget that you will need internet connection to work with this scanner. Now it will give you a lot of parameters it is able to read. Ok, so you get search bars, so you can choose which parameters you want to look at. For example, let me select, I want to look at throttle position. I am choosing throttle position because I am inside the garage and I don't want to start car, so I can show you how this live data works. Now I didn't know which one to choose to see my throttle position, so even though I got like 130 different parameters to read, not all of them are supported by my car. So if I go back to my throttle page, you can see that only this last one, throttle position, is displaying some data. Now you can up here you can choose to see values or graphs, if you see values I will step on the pedal. Now we have throttle position 100% open and then I can also look it up in graph. I will try pressing the pedal a little bit. This is a good way how you can test your throttle position sensor. Open this data and slowly press the gas pedal down and you want to go it up steadily. If I see now it drops to maybe 20% for a second and go back. I would know that there is something wrong with my throttle position sensor, but it is smoothly going up, same exactly as I am pressing the pedal. So my TPS sensor should be ok and you can build your own live data pages depending on which parameters you want to check and then you can also export them. So the test results from live data will be emailed to me directly to my email. Then you get all the other features of global OBD so smoke check, freeze frame data, non-continuous monitors, O2 sensor monitoring. So it does have all the global OBD functions. And now let's check what I am interested about is this service reset and special functions to see what of advanced features you can get because this scanner costs more than basic ELM adapter so you need to get more functionality. So let's check service reset first, however this is old car we might go, we might have to go to Toyota to see this. Select make Fiat model Punto year 2004. Ok so there is no service reset for this car but that makes sense since there is no even reminder or anything in this car and then special functions. There are no special functions available for this vehicle. Ok, so what we will do, let's go to Toyota and we will check if it can do some advanced functionality for Toyota. Ok, I am in mean, Toyota, this is 2022, so special functions should work here. 
Okay, first let's check service reset, but in this Corolla there is no reminder for service. So I don't know if it does have service reset, we can check. Select make Toyota Corolla 2022. Okay, there is no service reset manual, but that isn't bad because since this Corolla doesn't even remind to do service interval, probably doesn't exist as service procedure to reset this interval. So that's fine, but now let's check special functions. So select specifications one more time. Okay, and we got something here. ABS wheel speed test. Let's try moving a little bit to see if it is working. Now one wheel is giving a little bit different data. That just looks weird because they should all be the same. And I am pretty sure I don't have any problem with ABS. Let's check some other function. I don't want to do some reset like air fuel sensor reset. Maybe we can try actuation. This should be bidirectional testing. Let's just try electric cooling fan to see if it can do this bidirectional tests. Electric cooling fan. Operate with ignition on, engine off, shift in park. I have that. Let's try it on. Actuation reset has been completed, but I don't hear my fan turning. So it wasn't able to turn on my fan. It doesn't do anything. Wait, is there some other test we can try? Maybe try fuel pump control. Let's try it on. But I cannot hear my fuel pump. Cannot really hear anything. Situation reset has been completed. Well, I'm not really sure about this one. Don't know. Turning on the electric fan didn't work. I tried to do fuel pump control, which I guess should turn on my fuel pump briefly, but I didn't hear any fuel pump. So I tried to and I, I'm now when I see this not working, I'm scared to try something like fuel cut or VVT control. I don't want to damage anything. However, what we can do, I have Kango here. Kango is ready for any experiment. I don't care if something will happen to it. So let's try hop in and we will see if it can do some special functions for Kango. Okay, let's start with reading codes, just so it can scan modules. Okay, so we get scan completed, we can look at the details. We have code, but this is specific code for a Renault. I know that because the first number is one. If first number is one, that is specific code for a certain car brand. So it is not able to give me any more information, unfortunately. We have one code in airbag, okay, it's fine. I wanted to see those special functions, so special functions. There is just Kango 2, but I have Kango 1. Let's try, this is 2005, I think. We got DPF monitoring, which I don't have. So obviously there is no data, but technically you could see your DPF information. And then injector coding. Let's try read injector data, engine off, key on, and it couldn't find the data from injectors. So, I mean, I tried three different vehicles. I know every scanner has some problems, and for every scanner you can find some car model where some of the features will not work, but I tried three different cars, and the special functions, other than global OBD, simply doesn't work well with this scanner. Okay, so after testing this Garage Pro scanner, I found out that for basic functionality is really great. It can read code delete them and do that for all modules in car and you can also generate these diagnostic reports because they have information about default codes so you can know what might be causing the issue and how to fix it however for advanced stuff like bidirectional testing or service procedures I tried it on different cars almost nothing worked so for doing advanced operations with OBD2 scanner you simply cannot rely on this Garage Pro adapter. I will link this scanner in the description, you can check it out.